Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify a radical expression using rational with rational powers using the product rule. So a couple things is, actually, I'm going to rewrite this the other way, is understanding uh, radicals to rational powers. So if we have a radical with the nth root of x to the m, we can rewrite that as a rational power as x to the m over n. And so when we have radicals, um, we can also rewrite them as rational powers to go ahead and apply our operations. And then also we're going to be using the product rule in this video. Now, the main important thing, the reason why we want to use rational powers is if you remember when we were multiplying radicals, we could only multiply radicals when the index was exactly the same. If we remember if the index is not shown, then we know that the, we'll assume that the index is going to be 2. So we can't multiply these um, as they are written, currently written with radicals because the index is not the same. However, the first step we're going to want to do in all of these videos is to rewrite these using rational powers. So therefore, I'll rewrite this as 5 to the 1 half times 5 to the 1 fifth. And then what we can do now is use our properties of exp exponents that state whenever we multiply um, two exponents, then we simply are just adding the powers. However, remember, the bases have to be exactly the same, which if you look in here, 5 and 5 is exactly the same. So I'm basically doing 5 um, to the 1 half plus 1 fifth. Now, obviously, to obtain this, we have to um, get common denominators. So just a kind of quick little review over here. To get common denominators, we need to find um, the smallest number that 5 and 2 both evenly divide into, which would be 10. So to get that, I'd multiply this side by 5 over 5 and this side by 2 over 2. We have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same multiple because what we're doing is producing equivalent fractions. So therefore, this now, obtain, this now gives us 5 tenths. Um, plus 2 over 10. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add those up, and you can see our final solution is going to be 5 to the 7 over 10. And we can rewrite that as a radical expression, or we could also rewrite that back as a um, radical, be x to the 5 raised to the 7th power, which therefore we could then obviously go ahead and simplify. I'm not going to simplify it even though I do have a calculator. Let's just see what 5 to the 7th power would be. So we could also rewrite that as the 10th root of 78,125. OK. Um, and to the next one, we have the exact same thing, except here we obviously we know our two indexes are, are 4 and 3. So therefore, again, I'll just rewrite this as 6 over 1 over 4 um, times 6 over 1 third. That's equivalent to 6 to the 1 fourth plus one third when adding one fourth plus one third. Again, you're going to want to get common denominators, so I'll multiply by three over three, four over four. That equals three over 12 plus four over 12, um, which is going to equal seven over 12. So that's equal to six to the seven twelfths, which is equal to the twelfth root of six to the seventh power, which again, we can simplify six raised to the seventh power, right? Same thing, yep. Okay, so that's equal to the 12th root of 279,936. All right, um, in the next one, we have the fourth root, and uh, fourth root of 18 times uh, the square root of 12. So let's see here. Rewrite these as our fractions here. We'll have... Um, Let's see, 18 to the 1 fourth power and 12 to the 1 half power. Now, one thing I um, can look at here is I can simplify uh, 12 to the 1 half power. I can rewrite that as um, I can simplify fourth root 2 times 2 times 2 times 4. That would be 16 fourth root of 18, and I don't want to do that. Huh, I guess I have to work that one out. 